Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Today we're back with another episode of some recent photographs, or the working title last time was some recent photographs that I made recently. They're not the best, but eh, I like them. It was something like that, but basically we're just gonna take a look at some recent photos that I've made, kinda talk a little bit about them, what I shot them with, why I shot them, that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, just kind of have a good time and catch up. First, we're gonna start off with some film scans. These are all HP5 as usual with my M6 and either a 35 or a 50. Uh, I kind of bounce back and forth between the two lenses and I'll you know clarify which ones were shot with which in each photo. Let's get into it. These first photos I made on a walk with my friend Trent Brown. We were walking around town early one foggy morning and uh, it sounds like I'm uh, you know, narrating a, a Hallmark movie. One foggy fall morning. Uh, we were walking around Chillicothe and uh, I was just shooting a lot of kind of like textures and lines, uh, really just looking for like a lot of high contrast kind of stuff. Came across this gate here where the gate was just barely open and I liked all of the lines kind of being interrupted with that negative space in the gap there kind of creating its own line there. And I shot this a couple different ways. The first one I shot at I think f5.6 with the 50 millimeter Summicron. And then the second one I compensated and opened up to f2. And I actually like this one a little bit more. I think the out of focus corners and a little bit of a vignette kind of just makes the, the lines on the gate there just kind of pop a little bit more. I know a vignette is typically something people try to avoid when they're using certain lenses, but I actually think the vignette kind of helps on this one. Walking down different alleys, these uh, tire marks on this alleyway with all of the lines of the telephone poles kind of going off in the distance that way. Again, just kind of looking for interesting lines and compositions, just trying to get that morning, you know, photo exercise in. I've been trying to get better at using a 50 with, you know, leading lines in mind and like layering things and getting depth in the photo. Uh, I very easily like to get close with a 50 and throw things out of focus and uh, just go for like that kind of look. And I've been trying to get used to, you know, stopping the lens down and actually having a lot more depth in the frame with a 50 millimeter, which is something I do with a 35 like all of the time. So just looking for a lot of repetition, a lot of leading lines, that sort of thing. And I just happen to like this one. I'm not crazy about it, but I feel like that was kind of a good step towards getting that kind of look or that kind of practice. This shot of the church steeple in between these two traffic lights. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun shooting like really high contrast, minimal kind of stuff. And I think longer lenses tend to help with that because you can compress things and layer things like this a little bit easier. Uh, this was with a 50 and this was like a pretty heavy crop in. So if I had a 90 or a 135 on my M6, I feel like that would have worked even better. So I might try and rent one of those longer lenses and use it in a setting like this, but we'll see. And then my favorite photo I made that morning was of this wet spider web in the corner of this chain link fence. Uh, it just kind of worked perfectly with all of the textures shooting through the chain link fence and focusing on the spider web there. I shot like three frames and this was the only one that was actually like focused right where I want it. Trying to get focus with a rangefinder in a situation like this was kind of tough because I was shooting through a chain link fence on a spider web with a chain link fence behind the spider web as well. And I didn't want everything in focus. I specifically wanted to focus on the spider web there. So I was opened up at F2 and uh, yeah, this was the only one that worked, but I'm actually really happy with this photo. It just feels very Halloween like, and that's, that's my favorite time of year. So yeah, all of those from that morning were the M6, HP5, and the 50 millimeter Summicron. Next photo, this is a photo I made on a walk from my office down to the Poor House, which is a really good restaurant downtown in Chillicothe. Uh, me and some of the people that work here in the office, we were just walking down to grab dinner that night and uh, this guy was just getting ready to cross Main Street. And uh, I just really liked the hard light behind him. It was kind of end of the day and it was casting that shadow on the bike there. So I just snapped a quick frame there and I actually kind of like this one. Similar to that, a couple nights later, I went on a bike ride with Molly and our friends Keenan and Julie, and uh, we went for like a 19 mile bike ride that night. It was amazing, perfect weather. We've been loving doing stuff like that now that it's actually not miserable hot out. This was after we had stopped for a bit and we're getting ready to ride back, and uh, we were just kind of standing around talking, and Molly is in the distance there, and I just liked the shadow of her bike kind of coming into where Keenan and Julie's bikes were, so I just shot this one real quick. This was with the M10 and the 50 millimeter. 
But jumping back to film, this is actually a photo I shot with my friend Trev Lee. Uh, if you didn't see it already, there's a video up on the channel. It's like an hour long conversation between me and Trev about our everyday camera setups. Uh, just a good time to walk around town with Trev and, and get to shoot with him and catch up in person because it's normally over, you know, FaceTime or phone calls, stuff like that. So it was cool to have him in town. If you haven't checked out the video, definitely check that one out later. Uh, so far, it seems like people really enjoyed that one. But this was probably my favorite photo. I made that day. I really liked the lines that are on the pavement as it kind of leads across the frame right into that shadow there and then all of the lines on the building itself with that cracked window. Um, I just really like the contrast in this photo and definitely my favorite one of the day. And again M6 35 HP5 that's my everyday kind of setup so that's what I made with this one. Jumping into some backyard photos this is with the M6 HP5 and the 50 millimeter. Uh, just Molly in the backyard at the end of the day. Her hair is, you know, pulled up and it's a mess and she's got a big baggy sweatshirt on and uh, that's just her. Like I love seeing photos of her like that, not always when we're going out to dinner and she's got her hair done up and stuff like that. Uh, these are the kind of everyday photos. These are the things that I really love the most because that's just her and just being herself in our backyard at home, completely comfortable. Uh, that's, that's the best. Elliot and Nora on this playset in the backyard. I just love Nora's expression here with Elliot behind her out of focus, looking uh, pretty menacing if you ask me. Uh, no idea what was going on here, but I got the scans back and I was like, oh yeah, that's, that's kind of weird, I like that. Nora climbing up into the playset. I just really liked the framing of this one, kind of framing her from up above so the ground is out of focus behind her. And uh, she was climbing up, but was kind of doing this like stemming thing that she does. Like she does a lot of visual stemming. Uh, one thing with people on the autism spectrum, if they do like a certain thing over and over, that's kind of comforting for them. Sometimes it's something physical. Sometimes it's like, you know, certain sounds or uh, different motions, things like that. With Nora, it's very visual. So she's always squinting her eyes at stuff and kind of moving her hands like in front of her eyes a little bit, almost like in the foreground out of focus. Like if you think about it in a photo that way, it kind of makes sense a little bit more. Um, but she's always doing stuff like that and so I just caught her kind of doing that a little bit. Um, just little things like that that you catch every single day. I love shooting stuff like that. Elliot here with the child or as he calls him baby Yoda. Uh, he has been carrying this thing around everywhere and after I shot this photo of him which I just loved that all you could see were the eyes with you know the child's eyes and then Elliot's eyes right behind it. Um, that's just him. He loves his toys and you know getting into character so to speak. Uh, but after I shot that he wanted to take some photos with my M6. So I handed him my M6 with the 35 and I gave him the camera and basically just set the focus for him. So I just pulled it to infinity and I was like here just take whatever you want. And he took this photo of this bird on the telephone line uh, over top of the backyard and you know it was just cool that he shot that photo but then he wanted to keep shooting and he wanted to shoot a photo of the child baby Yoda going down the slide and I like carry baby Yoda over there and I set it up at the top of the slide and I'm like okay take the picture and he was like drop him and he wanted me to actually send him down the slide. I just thought he wanted to you know get a picture of him at the top so I was standing there holding it and he's like no drop him so I let go and the kid, I had already set the distance for him on the lens, you know, so I thought relatively if he stays in that area, of course he didn't, but you know, I was like, here, just stand roughly right there. And so he's standing there like this and he tells me to drop, you know, his toy. So I let go and as it goes down the slide, he fully tracks it and like takes the photo right at the last second before he goes off the slide. And in this photo, you can see like me standing there on the edge of the frame, I had just let go and he full on like tracked as he was going down the slide. And I don't know exactly if that's the most proud dad moment I've ever had, but it was definitely up there. It was so rad to watch him do that kind of thing. Like I didn't teach him or tell him to do that. He just did it on his own. Super, super stoked on that. That was amazing. And then afterwards, he wanted to get a photo of Baby Yoda, you know, right there in front of him. Of course, it's way out of focus because, you know, he's focusing about that far off the ground. Uh, but I love that Baby Yoda's there out of focus along with Elliot's Crocs there because he was just fully, like, just bent over taking a photo of it. That's probably my favorite photo I'm going to share today because it's just from Elliot's perspective and it's so sick. 
So those were all the film scans. Now we're gonna jump into some digital stuff. This is with the M10 and the 50 millimeter. And lo and behold, this rear end belongs to one young Willem Verbeek. Uh, Willem came to town for the day uh, a few weeks back and it was good to just catch up with him. And we didn't even film a video. We just spent the day driving around, shooting photos, getting lunch and just catching up basically. Uh, most of the time when we get together, we end up filming something, but it was nice to not even have to think about that. We just got to spend time together. Super, super fun. And uh, this is Willem coming off of the uh, the rear exit from the office. It's just this shaky ladder that's leaning up against it, but had to grab a photo of that. Willem sending it off the top of the building. This rear end shot would probably blow up on OnlyFans, but I'm not gonna do that to you, Willem. There he is in his element with the RZ. Uh, took him down some back roads out towards my house, some of my favorite places to shoot, and just, uh, it was cool being able to like like show someone that side. Normally when people come into town and I'm kind of showing them around, we're mostly downtown. This, I got to kind of show them more of like the countryside out towards where I live. And uh, it was super, super cool showing them all that. This one here is a little uh, sneak peek. This was right after Willem shot a photo. So keep an eye out maybe on Instagram. You might see this one from him, but uh, yeah, just out there shooting. And then one last portrait before we wrapped up. Um, just really like the light and the lines and just Willem standing there with the RZ. This photo I'm not really sure about. Um, I shot it on my way home, just zone focus, point and shoot. Would not advise that. Don't do that, although I do it. Um, but I shot this photo through the windshield and I really liked the like dust spots and everything on the on the windshield and like the reflection in the bottom corner there. And I really just love the framing with this really strong shadow. But there's something off about it that I'm not really sure. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm very torn on this photo because part of me loves it, but also part of me is like, I hate this. I don't know. That one's tough for me. Next, uh, this is actually a set of photos I made just kind of walking through the woods. I was recently hired to shoot some behind the scenes photos for some friends that are shooting a short film uh, down in Oak Hill, Ohio. It's just a little bit east of here. And uh, I just walked around and just basically was a fly on the wall, just documenting what they were shooting, which was amazing. Like that's me in my element, not really having to direct or anything. I can just capture what's going on. Um, but in the downtime, I just walked around the woods with my M10 and the 50 millimeter and just shot a lot of stuff that like I was genuinely interested in and things that looked good and just like pleasing to me. Um, it's very different from pretty much everything else that I normally shoot, but I had a lot of fun with that and I'm trying to let myself like lean into those kind of things more often and not necessarily worry so much about what a photo is for and just kind of letting myself just experiment and practice like that. But I ended up having like a set of photos that I'm actually really happy with and it's weird because I don't know necessarily that other people will like these, um, but it doesn't really matter because I enjoy them. Um, I don't know, it was a lot of fun, but just shooting around this old barn, walking through the woods there, uh, shooting a lot of like really close focus, shallow depth of field kind of stuff, um, all color, not black and white. So uh, yeah, just a lot of stuff like that. And it's really bizarre, but I really, really like these photos and I don't necessarily know why, but there's like a feeling about them that I really like. This one in particular of these thorns, this is like one of my favorite photos I've made in a really long time. Uh, not sure why, but I absolutely love this photo. So yeah, I hope you guys do too. And then finally, I was walking over to uh, our CrossFit gym in town to shoot some photos for them. And as I was walking over there, I just walked by the body shop next door and saw this and it just, you know, was kind of begging for a photo. Shot this actually with the SL2 and the 50 millimeter F1.4. So uh, this is the only one that wasn't made with the M6 or the M10. Uh, it was made with the SL2, which is what I'm using to record this video, but uh, yeah. Just, you know, your typical corner of a building kind of thing with some light on it. Couldn't help myself, had to do it, but yeah, just like it. But that's gonna do it for some recent photographs. Uh, I do have a couple other things I'd like to go over, but before that, I'm gonna go ahead, take care of some bills, and thank our sponsor today, which is Squarespace. Squarespace is the best all-in-one platform to build a great-looking website. No matter what your skill level is with building websites and designing things, they have so many templates to choose from, and it's crazy easy to use. Anybody can do it, whether you're on the computer or just on your phone. 
Speaking of, on the phone they have plenty of different apps so you can quickly update things, access your analytics and your online store, make any adjustments you might need to on the fly. It's super easy, but if you ever have trouble or need help with anything, they have 24-7 award-winning customer service. Like I mentioned, running an online store, you can sell digital or physical products directly on your site. You don't need to send people away to a third-party platform. You can do it all directly from your own website, which is amazing. And of course, as photographers, it's just a great place to showcase your work. So if you ever want to try Squarespace out, you can do so entirely free at squarespace.com. But when you're ready to get signed up, I can save you 10% off the first purchase of a website or domain by going to squarespace.com slash madday. That's going to do it for this episode. Before we end the video, I want to go ahead and just remind you guys that the pre-order for a friend of mine, my new book, it's the second and final edition for this body of work. That pre-order is going to be up on my website, mattdayphoto.com until November 10th. Um, after the pre-orders have all been fulfilled and shipped out, I will have very limited supply of books left over from that that I'll continue to sell, um, but it's not going to be a ton. So if you want to make sure that you actually like guarantee secure a copy of the book, now is the time to pre-order. Again, that'll be up until November 10th. Thank you so, so much to everybody who has purchased a copy of the book. Um, I have wanted to do this for years. I made a video years ago talking about how I wanted to do a second edition and now it's finally happening. Could not be more excited about just the direction and the finished product and also just the response. So thank you so, so much to all of you that have purchased a copy. Really, really means the world. If you would like to pre-order a copy, again, mattdayphoto.com. There will be a link down in the description below, but yeah, everything, all the information is there. Thank you guys for everything. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.